Go ahead, throw it. <coughs> My topic uh, this afternoon will be an example problem on how to derive the formula for taking the area of a right triangle. We will derive the formula using integral calculus. Okay, uh, let's proceed. Topic number 47, plain areas. An example problem on how to derive the formula for taking the area of a right triangle. We know that the area of a right triangle is one half bh. Okay, but this one half bh, which we are using under lower mathematics, was actually derived from integral calculus. Okay, uh, let's proceed with the uh, solution. Uh, I will read the problem uh, for the sake of uh, reading it. Okay. Derive the formula for solving the area of a right triangle with the base of B in height H using integration. Uh, we are supposed to be given a right triangle with the base B in height H and we will derive the area okay in order to compute uh, if we are given the value of the base and the value of the height actually we will derive this one but this one actually emanates from integral calculus okay uh, let's proceed uh, we try to figure out our right triangle on the x and y axis this is the y axis this is the x axis this is our right triangle okay this is the right angle so i place the uh, one corner of the right triangle at zero zero meaning at the origin so this point here refers to zero zero it refers to the origin okay this length here is the base. So this location here should be B0. Meaning the abscissa here is base and the ordinate is 0. So that's why this point here should be with the component uh, or coordinates B0. The corner of this uh, triangle over here, the coordinate should be base in H, meaning the value of the abscissa here will be B, the given base, and the ordinate should be H, the given height of the uh, right triangle. So this location here should be with coordinates B and H. Uh, we needed this uh, one later on in the formulation of the equation and how to take the equation of the hypotenuse. Because uh, to derive the area, we should uh, compute for y h, y h, y higher. We should compute for the equation of this hypotenuse. There is an equation for it. It could be a linear equation, it could be a quadratic, but it's not quadratic because this is a straight line. So actually, we will derive the equation of this, and what will come out should be a an equation of a straight line. How do we know if it is a straight line? Oh, it's not quadratic, it's just linear. Okay, linear, uh, it got only one x. It's not x square or x cube, it's just simply a constant in an x. That's linear. And it is supposed to be straight line. This is a straight line supposed to be. Okay, okay. Uh, we use vertical slice. Okay. We, if we draw a vertical slice here, a minute vertical slice, in which the thickness will be dx. Why dx? It is along the x-axis, right? It is dx. Okay? The height will be, the height of this strip here will be the ordinate over here minus the ordinate over here, or it is actually <laughs> y higher minus y lower. It is this. The vertical strip, if we bring it out, it is this. The thickness will be dx, and the height will be 
The height here is uh, y lower and the height here is y higher. So the overall height of this strip is actually y higher minus y lower. It is y higher minus y lower. Okay, I, I'll go back to the solution. Uh, I will try to bring out two right triangles. First right triangle, it is this. Second right triangle, it is supposed to be the given right triangle, it is this. Okay. This is M, this is M. They are the same. Okay. We are talking the same. Uh, no, no, the smaller uh, right triangle is actually inside the bigger right triangle. So the common angle is actually M, or the common slope is M. So I place it here. M, this is M. For the smaller right triangle, this side here should be X. This side here should be Y. For the uh, given right triangle, this side here should be the length of the base. It is supposed to give it, be given. And this side here is the given height. Okay? And if we try to bring out the solution, why I draw this one? Because uh, we needed the equation or the value of y higher as a function of x and it is supposed to be a straight line. Uh, the equation of the hypotenuse is supposed to be a straight line. Straight line. Okay? Slope. Slope by definition is actually, uh, slope is actually tangent of theta. Tangent of theta. Or tangent of M. The tangent of this angle here is actually this side here over this. It is y over x. Using the bigger uh, right triangle, the tangent of this angle here is the ratio h over b. So I place it here. M is actually y over x and this should be equal to h over b. Okay? We are given h, we are given b, y is variable, x is variable, solving for y. y now will be what will be y? Uh, you multiply both sides by x. Left hand side, this will cancel out, right? So y. Right hand side, it is h over b times x. Or, uh, I will now please the proper subscript. Y capital letter x. What's capital letter x? Higher. Higher. Uh, this is the higher, higher y and this is the lower y. The lower y is actually the x-axis and y higher is actually the, the equation of the hypotenuse because actually we are taking the area between the horizontal line and this hypotenuse and the limit is actually from 0 to the base. Okay, so I place the proper subscript here. y higher is equal to h over b times x. Okay. And by using vertical slice, if we try to bring out the vertical slice, the thickness will be dx, the height will be y higher minus y lower. Okay, uh, from equation number one, we are given y in terms of x, so we place it here. Therefore, differential area is y higher minus y lower times dx. That is, by using vertical slice, whatever equation is given, it is the same. The only thing that varies is the value of y higher and y lower. It depends on what will come out. If it is a straight line, it is a linear equation. If it is a, it is a quadratic equation, it could be a hyperbola, it could be an ellipse or hyperbola ellipse or other things. Okay? But uh, the given problem is actually linear because this is supposed to be a straight line. Therefore, differential area will go back to the solution. Y higher is actually h over b times x, h over b times x, minus zero. The equation of the horizontal line, okay, y higher is zero. That's the equation. Y lower is equal to zero is actually a straight line, a straight horizontal line. And the equation of this from our solution is actually h over b times x. It is a linear equation, but it is...
with a certain angle with respect to the horizontal. Okay? Therefore, differential area, this is zero now. It is uh, x over v, x dx. Okay? Then try now to integrate. <laughs> we are on integral calculus. The integral of differential area, the integral of differential area is just the area equal to h is constant, base is constant, it will come out. So h over b, the integral of x dx, and what will be the limit? To cover the total area of the right triangle, x should emanate from zero, okay, zero, up to base b. It should cover the value from 0 to B. So the lower limit is 0. The upper limit is B. Okay? To cover up the total area. From this point here up to this. Integrating uh, the integral of x dx. It's power formula. The value of u is x. The value of du is dx. It is exact. So it pulls under power formula. So area now will be h over b. Power formula x to the raised to 1 plus 1 or 2 over 2 with the limit from 0 to b. Okay? Substituting the lower and upper limit, that's a topic on definite integral. This is h over b, b square over 2. Oh, the second value is actually 0 square over 2. 0 square is 0. 0 over 2 is 0, okay? So this is actually 0. Okay? 0 or simply like that. No more. No, no more second term. Okay? One base here cancel with this. One base remains over here. So area now will be h over 2. One b remains on top. So this is times b. Or... As a general equation for taking the area of a triangle, it should be one half the base times i. This is the final answer. You notice it, guys. This is our formula for taking the area of a triangle under lower mathematics. Well, we are using this, but actually it emanates from integral calculus. All the formulas we are using actually emanates from integral calculus. So actually, integral calculus is very important. I will repeat it before we go this afternoon. Area for a right triangle is one half the base times height. If we are given a right triangle, the height is h and the base is b. To take the total area, just uh, take the product one half of base times height. Actually, it came from the area of a rectangle. Okay. Area of a rectangle is length times uh, base times uh, height. Base times height, the total uh, rectangle. But we are only taking one half for a right triangle, so this should be one half. Okay? So in general now, the area for taking, or the formula for taking the area of a right triangle, it should be one half the base times height. Okay, good afternoon, Los Angeles.